A decade into its passage, terms of 13th Amendment are yet to be implemented in letter and spirit. As much as it should have consolidated democracy, the devolution of powers to provincial governments has brought few challenges of its own. Furthermore, the structural asymmetry in the devolution of power among the provinces in terms of the degree of power devolved to the district, the seal, or to the level of the Union Council renders the functioning of institutions such as the Council of Common Interests a challenge in itself. The State Bank's annual report for 2018-19 laid in clear terms the lack of institutional capacity in provinces to gather tax revenue. Having been unable to do so, funds for service delivery have been inadequate in addition to local governments being left out from administering service provision. Microfinancing development projects aimed at enhancing business growth is an area relatively unexplored and is a challenge that the central government might consider looking into. Amidst a crisis and at a time when Pakistan is attempting an administrative transition from the local government ordinance to the local government act, mitigating such challenges and planning for the resolution is imperative to ensure effective and good governance in the country. To deliberate on these issues, the Islamabad Policy Research Institute is organizing a webinar titled The 18th Amendment Impact on Governance in Pakistan on Tuesday the 21st of July. Speakers for the webinar include Mr. Ahmed Bilal Mehboob, President and Secretary General Board of Directors, Pakistan Institute of Legal Development and Transparency, and Dr. Nadeem Ulhaq, Vice Chancellor, Pakistan Institute of Development Economics.